All right, it is March. Sun is out, starting to get warm outside, but the grass is still brown. So this Bermuda grass is still dormant. It's yet to pop. Um, and it's causing a lot of issues around the greens for most of you. So I just wanted to go over a couple setup keys that I see um, on a regular basis that expose the leading edge a little too much for this type of turf. Uh, so leading edge, front of the club right there, sharp edge, bounce, back of the club. All right, so we're hitting certain shots, not all shots, but some shots around these greens. We, we do want some leading edge, but we still want to be able to utilize that bounce. So a couple setup keys I see on a regular basis, um, not necessarily just off of dormant Bermuda, but dormant Bermuda will expose those weaknesses, is excessive shaft lean. So that, that lowers the leading edge, it raises the bounce. All right, and here's some setup reasons for that. So a lot of golfers put the ball really far back in their stance with an open stance. So I'm not a huge fan of the stance staggered open or left foot back because you're more likely to put weight on the foot that's closest to the ball. So if I have my left foot back, I'm going to put more weight on the right foot. So my preference is slightly uh, squared or slightly closed. So I like the stance a little bit more closed off with this foot flared because, again, I'm more likely to put weight on the the foot closest to the ball. So in doing that, that allows me to move the ball a little bit more forward. And when I move that ball more forward, I can use a little bit more bounce. So another issue with forward shaft lean is the more I press it forward, the more my right shoulder lowers. And right there, my sternum or my buttons are behind the golf ball, unless I just shove it way back in my stance. So again, I like it more centered, but I want to take those buttons and tilt them on the left side of the golf ball because that's where my low point is going to be buttons nose whatever you want to think about so i'm going to take buttons nose left side of the ball and because i have weight and spine tilt forward that will create enough shaft lean i don't need any more shaft lean so if i do those i will have enough shaft lean and i can use that bounce and i can get that club to glide a little bit better so the other setup key the vertical angle of the shaft so if you look at the club here got 10 degrees of bounce but this has what's called heel relief so the heel has much less bounce than the toe so the toe actually has a thicker sole or a wider bounce or the bounce is farther from the leading edge than the heel is so if I'm able to use that toe that will help that club glide a little bit more so one common thing I see from this view is when the golfer has their hands too low so that heel right there is going to dig so if I have that heel low that's going to dig. But again, if I can get that handle up and I can use that toe bounce, then I can keep the heel from digging because it's no longer on the ground. So I've got my spine to the left side of the ball. I've got the handle up with relaxed elbows, not high shoulders. So relaxed elbows, and I can use that toe bounce. We don't see that dig. Yes, I'm hitting a little out of the toe, but that will help it glide. So if you can use those setup keys, that will help that bounce glide a little bit more on the ground and keep that leading edge from getting stuck into this dormant Bermuda grass.